Welcome everybody to another video and this is something new that I ha am doing. I am doing what I crochet in a week. Um, we're going to see patterns from Happy Turtle Crochet, uh, Crochet by Jenna and stuff like that. Um, I do not remember one of the patterns names. I'll probably just have to insert a caption right here when I show it or um, put it in the description. I want to start off by Crochet by Jenna's um, Axolotl Pattern Low Sew. Takes me 30 minutes, and I'm a slow crocheter, so it takes me 30 minutes. So it's perfect for markets. I'm selling this one for $8, and I have a pink one, but it was not made during this week. So that one is also being sold for $8. But I also have two of them. But this one's going to be sold for $5 because I did something wrong. Um, the pattern is easy to follow. If I had to rate that pattern, it would be like an 8 out of 10. Um, because I really love the low sew, but I'm also new to no low sew, so it was a little bit tricky. I think, I think this is actually my first no sew pattern. So, once I get the hang of it, then I can know more, but that's, but I get better as I go. This was my second one. My pink one was my first one, but this one that I just made like yesterday, I don't know what happened. I'm still going to try to sell it for $5, but I don't think it's going to sell, but, and here's a few things that I did wrong. I did not level that gills like correct even um for some reason the body is way chunkier than the head um and for some reason when i was trying to do the tail it came out a little bit crooked so i'm selling this one for five dollars mainly just to get it out but i am going to reduce the quality price because it's not as high quality as these are you get like it's like a three dollar discount all right so that is this so i in total have two more to make for my market because my goal is to have five axolotls for my market so yeah my brain all right i forgot what company i bought this from it's not from oak and marlow that's why i said it's not from oak and marlow i made i chose something else um I have to lint roll this. I just got two hot glue the eyes and lint roll it a little bit. But this is my chicken, my white chicken. I only made one. Um, I used Bernat blanket and for the nose, I used Sweet Snuggles Light. This took me about 45 minutes to make, maybe close to 50 once I get the eyes so, uh, hot glued on. I mean, this is this was a good pattern, but um, I'm going to have to one day buy Oak and Marlowe and see because this one was a little bit confusing. I had to modify it a little bit and I rather have a pattern that um, is easier to follow this pattern. If I had to rate it, it would be out of five stars or ten stars. It would probably be out of ten. It'd be a six out of ten because the top was just confusing. The bottom was fine, but the top was just confusing. And you actually had to sew this on. So if I could not sew this on, this would be great, but I'm okay with sewing a little bit, but just not a lot. Why is that fluff? I don't know. But my first chicken looks good. Just need to put the eyes and lint roll it. So. Put that right there. All right, this is another one by Crochet by Jenna. This, but also the shell I used Happy Turtle Crochet's um, shell for like the petals. I used the shell part from Crochet by Jenna and the body. I love this. This is my favorite makeup this week. Like. I'm not even kidding. Crochet by Jenna and Happy Turtle Crochet. 
Y'all are amazing. So I made this with Parfait Chunky. Um, my decreases could be a little bit better. So I am going to mark probably a dollar or two off because of that. Um, sorry, I had a notification on my phone. But probably like more or less two dollars because it's not i mean it's good but once i get better at premier parfait chunky it would be a whole lot better mostly with my tension it looks like all right um this was my first make with parfait chunky um <laughs> this was an experience my husband could tell you like um but yeah, there was a lot of shedding with sewing this on and I was a little bit confused with the holes that Crochet by Jenna uses to attach it, um, to attach the fins, the tail, and there was no holes for the head. You just have to directly sew it on, but I just had to figure that out and also the best way to put on these fins because I was like so confused. I have learned that through videos to take a lighter and get some of the shedding off because there is some shedding. But yeah. Um I'm gonna remake this again. I have to make one more for my market. Um this is definitely gonna be like a higher priced item. Not because of that not because I dislike making it, it's just it took longer. Um, probably take two and a half hours for me. For me, but I'm a slower crocheter and I was this was my first time making it. And once I get to making more of these, then I will be able to learn a lot more. Um, the only thing I modified with Happy Turtle Crochet is that I put a lot more petals around. Um, I used her petal crochet pattern like part of the sunflower turtle and it looks neat I was just trying to figure out what it was so there was a lot of frogging in the process which a little bit frustrated me but it was because it was my first time I love her I love both of their patterns so I'm going to try one with just happy turtle crochet and one with cur um make another one of crochet by Jenna's but this is a hybrid of crochet by Jenna's and um happy turtle crochet happy happy turtle crochet is mainly just the petals but and everything else is crochet by Jenna I love this cutie if I had to rate this entire product it would probably be a eight out of ten mainly because of the shedding that's still on there that I have to light off and I need to fix some of my tension on this one. But I'm still going to sell it. So the highest I would probably ask for is like $35. Because it did take a lot of sewing. And there was some learning curve in it. But yeah. It did not take a whole skein of blue yarn to make this. It almost did. But not exactly. Alright. Two more products one is not all the way done one is done so I had a friend who knows how to do a Cricut um I got some white felt she did the vinyl and this is my first time kind of putting this on I'm looking at this I know it looks weird this is my first one um I love this I'm just getting used to the felt eyes. I'm getting used to them because, I mean, I'm not um, a pro at this. But if she would have made these a little bit bigger, um, that would have made a whole lot more different um, or a whole lot more better. But I probably sell this for 15 because of the tentacles I had to sew these on. But this is a pro. This is a better version of my jellyfish and I did the first one for a market um I made multiple jellyfishes um one I did a custom that was amazing but when I did another one um 
that was a no-go so i really wanted to make another one so this is my other one i'm have one felt eyes one with safety eyes just for preference matters for customers but yeah this one will be 15. and it was easy to make i'm used to this pattern so. lastly this is my um cow half finished cow as you can tell there's some imperfections um Um, I don't really, I'm going to trust the process with this one. Um, I did crochet in the black. Um, so next time when I make this cow pattern, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to increase one more with the body because it's just, I think it went, goes up to four, but I think I'm going to go up to four five just because of the way the body is proportioned but it is cute but i'm going to trust the process but next time i make it i'm not going to crochet this into the stitches i do that to avoid weaving ends and i mean it does make it like a cookies and cream cow but let's be realistic it could be neater so it's too late to do it now but i am going to make more cows so I gotta make the horns. No, this one does have horns. Yes, this one does have horns. Horns, ears, feet, and legs. So, this is from Katie Dids. I love her patterns. But next time, let's not crochet the black into the. I do it because I'm scared of the weaving in ends and color changes, like coming apart. But next time, I'm just not gonna. Do it. I'm just going to make a knot, make sure it's secure, and not crochet this in because it could look a lot better. Because as you can see, I started doing this here, and it looks a whole lot better. I crocheted some in, but it looks a ton better. So that is what I got to say about that. It is a relatively easy pattern. I just got to finish making this. So, but yeah, that is all. Let me gather this up before I say, before I leave y'all off with a note. Let me see if I can do a hug check like Crochet by Gina does. Ah, no. Well, no. <laughs> All right. We are just going to try our best. <laughs> so... I was able to make one, two, three, four, five, six plushies within a week. And that is okay by me. Um, mainly the chicken just needs eyes. And I mainly had a lot of time because I went to surgery. So it's not always going to be like this. But we need to finish this and work on the bees because those are my best sellers. But that is all I have for today. Um, and I will see y'all guys next time. Bye.